like I already knew because they were black and I and I and I don't like making these videos because trust me I don't but something's got to be said I knew because they were black I said this was to be expected I have not been to a black owned business in 20 years without something happening something going wrong and if you're watching this video and you're black you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This is why I do not go to black owned businesses because every time I've gone to one in the last 20 years, it's either they don't do the work properly, which is nine out of 10 times. They just don't do the work properly. Or there, there's some kind of attitude. There's some kind of weird nonsense. If I've gone to a black owned business that they make food, the, the the portions are always like really chintzy. The food isn't that good. I mean, I don't know if you guys consider Jamaicans to be black. I don't. I mean, they're black, dark skin, but they're not black in terms of the culture. And even when I go to Jamaican restaurants, like they never have what I want. There's oh, like I'm not gonna say there's always some fuck shit with them. But it's yeah, they're always like, yeah, we yeah, we had a dish. Yeah, we had a dot. No, we don't have this. No, we don't have that. Well, what the fuck do you have? Why are you even open? Seriously, like like, like what? You, all you have is chicken? Listen, I know owning a, a food business, I, I you know, I know it, it could be tough. You know, a lot of a lot of businesses they just cook the food they have it and that's it. But it's like, damn. Like seriously, like is that is that is that just how it's always gonna work? They just, you know, they cook whatever food they have often in the end, end of the story. So, I'll say it again. Next time that happens, I'm just going to turn around and walk right the fuck out. Because it, it never stops. It never ends. It's always, you just, you you know, it's like, they don't do the work right. They don't, you don't really feel like they want to do the work. There's an attitude. It, there's no confidence. And that's, you know, and that's indicative of maybe culture. Just, I don't know. Maybe everyone wants to be a fucking rapper. I I, I don't I don't know. I, I'm just. It, it's a it's a shame. It, it really is a shame. I don't know. That's my experience. I don't know what you guys have gone through, but with me, I, I know, I know the most boisterous ones that have an opinion on this are gonna be black themselves, and they know exactly what I'm talking about. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're good. It's a beautiful Saturday back in the motherland, a little bit cloudy, but yep, everything is just doing fine. So um, there is an important topic that I need us to talk about. Oftenly, most of people have overlooked this, but this is something that is hurting us, it's hurting black businesses, and it, it's hurting um, its wealth because the asset of any business is, is the customer. You got to have customers that come to buy from your shop, any type of business that you do, because that's your asset. You're banking on those people. Now, people have been complaining about um, services in black owned business. And this is not something which is happening for the first time. You know, there's this gentleman and he goes to uh, this place where he's being uh, these people are fixing his, uh, you know, his scooter. And turns out that the service that is being given is not right. And this is not a topic that I'm talking about for the first time. My question is, even before jumping right into the video, where did we go wrong, black people? Where did we go wrong? Because I believe I'm not just hearing this from a white person. I'm also hearing this from black people themselves saying that they can't go to uh, black business. They rather go to other races to serve them, but not black business. How is this hurting us? How is this defending our businesses? This makes our businesses not credible to people. And we lose a lot of money because uh, as I've said earlier, any asset that a business has is the customers. The customers are the people who will bring the money. There is no essence of having a business with no clients. Otherwise, you'll be consuming the products that you bought yourself. This is something that um, 
has happened? Is it that we don't have support? Is it that we don't have proper education about handling clients and business? And I just want to be reflective. How, how is um, slavery or racism associated with this? Of course, there is a link, but I don't want to make that as an excuse. But then there is a link between that because I will say that most of black people during those times were not sensitized very well in owning businesses, in doing, because there are so many businesses which were owned. This is not, this is now historically, most of business that were owned were owned by white people. Now there is this education that black people didn't get about owning and running businesses. And now today we are having a lot of complaints. And my worry is that, is it during those times that rain started beating us black people? We need to know where the problem really started. No, look, I don't want to say much. I want us to watch this video and then I'll be back. The channel of the guy that I'm reacting to his video is called, um, let me see, just a, just a second, just a second. Um, this gentleman is called, this gentleman is called uh, uh, Black Bigelow. He's called Black Bigelow. Um, make sure you check out his channel and also see other things that he does. I believe he does quite a good thing. He does vlogs, but he had this encounter with this black business, which ended badly with him. So um, let's dive right into the video. I got conned into going to a black business yet again. Uh, allow me to explain. So I got this electric scooter. You can kind of see it in the back. I actually got two of them. Uh, technically, I got three of them. So I got a flat tire on my main scooter. I have that with me because I want to start doing scooter vlogs, perhaps. Also, going into urban areas, a little bit difficult when you have a van and a trailer parking. So park the van and the trailer here. That way, if I need to have a story done in a downtown area i could just jump on the electric scooter and it'd be easier for me to do so so i got a flat tire it's very difficult for me to get stuff repaired when i'm on the road especially electric scooters i'm starting to figure out pretty much so anything is difficult to get repaired so i have a flat tire i'm in texas so now i can't ride my scooter I make it to Ohio, and uh, I'm about to fly out to California. I'm in Cincinnati. So I, I Google electric scooter repair shops. So only two come up. One of them, I forgot the name of it. It's in downtown Cincinnati. So I call the scooter shop. I said, hey, uh, I got a, a, a road uh, runner. It has a flat back tire but I have two new tires, they're tubeless. I want them installed on the scooter. Okay. And they said, fine, bring it on down. I said, all right, cool. I go down to the shop and I take my scooter out of the van. I'm walking it into the shop and I see the dude that I spoke to on the phone with this white guy, probably 20 years old. And in the back are two black guys working on the scooter scooters and i said oh shit i said this business is owned by those two guys those two black guys i was about to i was this close turning right around and walking the fuck out as you guys know if you don't know i have not been to a black business for 20 years without some bullshit happening i i'm you guys may not believe me i swear to god 20 years that every time I've gone to a business ran by somebody black, it, there's always some fuck shit. It, it just never stops. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. It never ends. Never ends. So I'm going to turn around and walk out. And I said, you know what? All right. Let's see. I'm already here. I don't feel like looking for another shop. I, 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 there's a vlog that I want to do, that I want to do it with the scooter, and I, I kind of need it done. Fuck it, let's 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 just do it. 
So I, I dropped a scooter off. And I said, how long until uh, it's ready? I said, I'm not in a super hurry. It's not like a dire emergency, but I need it done. And he said, uh, uh, come back in like, you know, two days, three days. I said, All right. I said, I'll just come back next Tuesday. So that'd be about five days. So I come back the following Tuesday and my scooter is ready. It's on the floor, has the little tag on it. And I look at the scooter and I notice, you know, that there's some grease on the side of the sidewalls of the tire. I said, what the fuck is this? And it's flat. And I said, uh, <laughs> I told the dude, I said, the tire's flat. The front tire. So he looks at it and uh, he's like, oh, uh, let me put some air in it. And I said, did you put it on correctly? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just such and such, such and such. Maybe we forgot to put air in the tire. I said, oh my God, here we fucking go again. Here we go again. It never ends. So he puts air in it and I and I felt the back tire and that one is low on air too. I said, hot damn. I said, bro, I said, is this gonna work? I said, the back tire is really low on air. Like I'm too fat to be riding a, uh, a scooter with no air in the tire to back. Airs up both tires, charges me 120, 530 bucks. So I, I, I take it for a spin around the block, seems to be holding air, looking at it, touching whatever. So I said, okay. I said, maybe, I don't know. I gotta get going. I put the scooter in the back of the van and I hightail it out of there. I go down to wherever the hell I'm going. The next day I wake up, I feel the tire on the scooter, they're both flat. They're both flat and they both have this weird grease on the side. And I said, you know what? I wasn't honestly mad because I knew there was already gonna be some, some problems. I just already knew it. Like I already knew because they were black and I and I and I don't like making these videos because trust me I don't. But something's got to be said. I knew because they were black. I said this was to be expected. I have not been to a black-owned business in 20 years without something happening, something going wrong. And if you're watching this video and you're black, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This is why I do not go to black owned businesses because every time I've gone to one in the last 20 years, it's either they don't do the work properly, which is nine out of 10 times. They just don't do the work properly or there, there's some kind of attitude. There's some kind of weird nonsense. If I've gone to a black owned business that they make food, the, the, the portions are always like really chintzy. The food isn't that good. I mean, I don't know if you guys consider Jamaicans to be black. I don't. I mean, they're black, dark skin, but they're not black in terms of the culture. And even when I go to Jamaican restaurants, like, they never have what I want. There's, oh, like, I'm not going to say there's always some fuck shit with them. But it's yeah, they're always like, yeah, we yeah, we had a dish. Yeah, we had a dot. No, we don't have this. No, we don't have that. Well, what the fuck do you have? Why are you even open? Seriously, like like, like what? You, you, all you have is chicken? Listen, I know owning a, a food business, I, I you know, I know it, it can be tough. You know, a lot of a lot of businesses they just cook the food they have and then that's it. But it's like, damn, like seriously, like is that is that is that just how it's always gonna work? They just, you know, they cook whatever food they have off and in the end, end of the story. So I'll say it again. Next time that happens, I'm just going to turn around and walk right the fuck out because it, it never stops. It never ends. It's always you just, you, you know, it's like they don't do the work right. They don't you don't really feel like they want to do the work. There's an attitude. It, there's no confidence. And that's, you know, and that's indicative of maybe culture. 
just, I don't know. Maybe everyone wants to be a fucking rapper. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just, it, it's a, it's a shame. It, it really is a shame. I don't know. That's my experience. I don't know what you guys have gone through, but with me, I, I know, I know the most boisterous ones that have an opinion on this are going to be black themselves and they know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, um, this will be, I'll, I'll do this video a little bit different. I want to hear your opinions, black people, because this is something which is hurting uh, black business. This is something that is taking money away from us because it's painful. If a person who looks like me can't buy from my shop and it makes sense because people are going for quality. People are going to good service. I won't buy from your shop because you look like me and I'm not satisfied and I'm giving you my money. I'm not getting the value for me paying you. So to any black person who is saying that they can't go to a black shop or buy something from them, I totally understand. But now, it, I mean, on the other side, again, it hurts because we are giving people this money. We're not giving it. We're not getting it. We're not circulating it in our community, right? Now, that's the problem. I just want to know where did really this problem started from? That's just something that I really, that I will definitely want to know. Where did this problem started? How, how can you deal with this? I just want, I just want you to let me know because I've been seeing people complaining east, west, south, you know, um, people just complain that the black service is not well, uh, everyone want to become a rapper. People don't want to get into business. People wanna, don't want to do business. Is it stereotype? I just want to know. I just want to hear your perspective as a black person. I just, you and you and you. I don't want to jump into conclusion, but I just want to hear your opinion because it pains me knowing how um, we have been having wealth disparities between white people and also other ra uh, races, despite the fact that we are amongst the marginalized groups. So um, what can we do about this? What can you say about this? What is your experience about this? And with that, I'm also going to be sharing people's opinion or what people really said about this. And I want to read you some comments and I want you to listen closely because these are customers. These are people who want value from the money that they are giving. Remember, it's always so hard turning somebody's money into you. So people want to get value out of your service. Now, listen, this is uh, somebody who says this. Now, I'm a black and I work, with, uh, I work on cars on the side. And I usually turn down black customers because they expect me to look at their car for free. And basically, want you to fix a 500 uh, bucks for 40 bucks. Also now, anything that breaks on that car after I work onto it, no matter how much time has passed or what part, it is automatically my fault or something. I did ignorance. Hmm, I get it. I get it. Now, this is a black person who says that usually turn down black customers. What's our problem? What's our problem, black people? Now it's not even about, you see now this is the importance of uh, people sharing their, their, their opinions. Now there's a person who shared his opinion in regards to this video that I'm reacting on. And he says that it turns, it turns away, it turns down black customers because they expect too much from him and they want their car to be fixed for free means that they want free services. I also don't know what you think about this. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, we are getting to learn about much. I'm also getting to learn about much along the way. I, I, it doesn't mean that I know everything which is happening, right? So I'm just trying to learn along the way with you and I'm seeing some things and I'm also getting surprised about it. Um, somebody also say that, we used to go to a black family owned restaurant for breakfast every morning. Eight of us would push two tables together, order full breakfast and sit 
and drink coffee for an hour or so. The owners, a lovely husband and wife, knew that our combined tab would be close to 100 bucks every day plus with tip 25% or more to their uh, weight staff. When they retired, their daughter took over and it went downhill within three months. Service was awful, orders never right, and we felt like we were no longer welcome. Based on the looks we got from the new clientele, even though we were a mixed group of vets, the atmosphere was definitely no old white guys. We found another restaurant and that lovely place we had called home for 10 years was closed within six months. Sad. This is crazy. This is really, really crazy. This is crazy. Guys, this is crazy. Now, listen. I'm not judging or something, but I believe from now, there is, from, from, from this point of problem, I think um, there is something to do with uh, maybe education that I feel like some of us need before starting business because sometimes managing business can be so hard. Having managerial skills can be so hard um, because if I'm sure if they still retain the same staff who served the clients, then I think the problem was with the management, the management, the management, the management was the problem. I think so. The management was the problem. So probably we need to learn more about managing because it's not easy to, um, manage somebody's business or to manage business it takes a lot it takes you being a leader it takes you being a worker you have to be general you have to be offering you have to sympathize you have to empathize with people with your with your with your clientele with your staff with everybody right so um mostly as a person who knows a little of business i think it culminates down to management now I'm also gonna reading somebody's uh somebody say I was going to buy a book on Amazon yesterday. I noticed a black owned business icon next to the name. I bought the book elsewhere. I do not support racism and segregation. What? Bro. Okay. Somebody say that. I honestly avoid black owned businesses, especially the ones that advertise that is black owned business. Oh, and I'm a black guy. Damn. What's really happening? Tell me guys, what's really happening? I don't know. I really don't know what's happening. What's happening? Okay. Now listen to this story. I worked construction. I worked on a construction for black owned business for free. Okay, I volunteered to do the work. The owner was someone I went to elementary school with. Oh, you are folks, you are so close. I thought it would be nice to reconnect and help her and her business get their business going. Then first day for opening for business, I was one of the first customers. You know it, they charged me full price. After volunteering for hours, after helping them out, of the kindness of my art. That was the end of that friendship. They went out of business after a year anyway. Damn. Hmm. Now I understand where this problem um, goes. Somebody asked, could you imagine someone advertising white owned business? Makes sense to me because um, you just tell me what you think. Somebody's answering the guy, Lamont. I'm a black woman and my experience with black owned business in the past, present and recently has not been good at all. So trust, I understand what you went through. I am now at the point that I no longer want to support black owned business. Now, when I walk into any business and black owned businesses, there is no greeting attitude or workers acting like they don't want to be bothered. I walk right back out. I refuse to spend my money for shitty service, no matter what nationality owns it. This is getting um, 
crazier and crazier and uh, I will definitely want to know your opinion because damn avoid most black owned business simply because they are rude and overpriced it is sad okay let me continue reading some I'm a long time vegan a few um, years back a black owned vegan burger restaurant opened less than a mile from my work I made a point to go in exactly twice before vowing never to return the first time service was extremely slow but the food was great about a month later i decided to treat myself again so i called ahead with my order and went after I sh after my shift ended not only was my order not ready but when it came out they made me a bagger with a party the size for half dollar in brackets not exaggerating they tried to eat it under extra lettuce and onion like wouldn't notice i showed it to the person working there and she acted like it was normal i was incredible uh, i was incredulous and just pushed it back across the counter i haven't gone back since now he goes on and says that black owned businesses uh biz black owned business banks on guilty white liberals never holding them to any quality or customer service standards i'll never go back to any restaurants that boast that they are black owned again major red flag okay somebody also said that as a white man raised by a jamaican woman i was taught to read the room if you make eye contact and the first reaction is you wouldn't sit at a table with a person then why trust them to prep your food okay so there's an issue with somebody labeling their business black owned i think now if you're watching this video you start to know what the problem is somebody saying when i hear black owned it almost sounds like a charity to me it automatically makes me think that it's not as good for simple fact that they need to mention that i don't know it's just weird to me lol it would be like going to a white restaurant and saying white owned i'd be like okay and what the fuck that's supposed to even mean either it's a reputable business or not i don't get in need to mention that sounds like a con to try and guilt other black people to come to the establishment and it also alienates other races like they aren't welcome there or something just odd i did go to a black owned restaurant and it took like 20 minutes after we seated to get a drink order in and it took another hour to get our food i had ordered macaroni and cheese with them with my meal just played safe and i sh and, and i shit you not they did not serve it to me with my meal and it was still being prepared and a dude comes in through in front door with Kroger's and bag and goes back to the back and goes to the back and two minutes later i have my mac and cheese it was good mac and cheese don't get me wrong but the plus side is i get the same mac and cheese from Kroger's now every time i go there's so much so much so much negative um comments i can't read i can't read all of them because these are people who are, who are sharing their their experiences with how they feel about black owned businesses especially the ones that tries to notify that they are black owned business there is something which is always wrong i don't know i just want you to let me know as a black person as a person who owns business or as a client or just let me know what's your experience how do you feel about this I just want to know that's all these are presented gene tech stories i hope that you find wherever you are if you're watching this video for the first time and felt like uh, everything in this content made sense to you you can consider subscribing to the channel join our membership and check out our patron and we can see what to do about it until then peace love and harmony salute